Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Incompetent Nerds. I'm your host, Tank. None other than our good pal, Mark. What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing lovely. Thank you for asking, my dear friend. <laughs> uh, this is our last cast for July. And same theme, same place, same people. Uh, this is, I guess, this is a loose topic, but sort of just why are people funny? We talked about... I guess we talked about like our history and like comedians and, and movies, but this is just why why people are funny. Yep. How do you define that as a topic? It's weird because we all have that one funny friend, and we all know that somebody who we all know somebody who thinks they're funny, but they're not. Right. <clears throat> and I think it's more of a it's more of human nature. You know, if you're funny, you get along with more people. You socialize with more people. Especially for those who are just antisocial, depressed, down, whatever. But by them being funny, help you know put smiles on other people's faces. They have that social interact uh, interactivity with you know other people. Uh, I want to say that was something for me. I was always Mark. You know, I was always a quiet kid. Um, yeah, but that that does. I don't think that means like someone can't be funny or no. that they're not you know no but it, if you look at it a lot of a lot of those people like trust me there's a lot of outgoing people a lot of extrovert people that are fucking hilarious and that are loud and obnoxious and all oh, the people love it because you know they're funny the jokes and the things they talk about then you got other people like introverts who are breaking out of that shell and they do the same thing uh for me example i'm fu- uh, i feel like i am funny <laughs> uh, yeah, stroking the ego there a second. You, I love how you paused before you said it, <laughs> like you weren't sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> but also, I'm introverted. I don't like conflict. I'm always to myself. I'm very quiet. You know, that's the way I am. That's the way I speak. Especially not well, not on the podcast. On the podcast, I'm all over the fucking place. Uh, but it's just like that's just my thing. And when I try to make crack jokes, make people laugh. As soon as I get people laughing, cool. And I can tell what's a pity laugh versus, oh, that's an authentic laugh. Sure. And that's through to, you know, time in, you know, school, playgrounds, whatever. Like, growing up and just trying to be funny, trying to interact with more people. Maybe if I say some couple jokes or something, get them laughing. I could probably be friends with them. I don't know who these fucking people are in this class. You know, you start <clears throat> socializing. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like... I think you, what you said is like crazy accurate because people we're co- I think we're connected to people who we find commonalities with, right? That's yeah. like basic human behavior. But when you like when you can laugh at it because you realize like, oh, you know, that's funny. Like I think that's hilarious because I've experienced that too, or I've gone through that too. Like for me, uh, obviously, I've had a little different life path, but. When, you're right. Whenever, whenever it was like you're in a new situation or you're around a lot of new people, it's like, all right, you gotta find find things in common and and make them laugh as quickly as possible. You know, whether it's like relationships, new school, new friends, new, a party that you don't know anybody at, that's always been, that's like always a good go-to. You know, it's like, how can I, you know, make make these people laugh? Yeah. And I think that, uh, what do I want to say? Totally lost my train of thought. This is what happens when you get old, folks. Um, that that you don't. I don't think it's necessarily like an introvert or extrovert thing. Like you said, it's like people. Anybody can be funny. We've talked. We've said that before this month. But it doesn't have to be like the guy who's like banging the glass all over the. Pl- I don't know. I don't know what extroverts do to like get attention. <laughs> They're just loud or the way yeah, they just talk just to like, people. Right, just like being the highest volume in the room. You don't. You definitely don't got to do that. Yeah. Uh, think Jordan. Yes. Jordan's definitely the extrovert. When yes. When you first met, okay. You saw one. Okay, you saw when I first met Jordan face to face. He was on a phone call. And we he met him at the same the time. Car. Oh, that was the same time. Well, you picked him up. Remember oh, when that's you guys right. picked me up? He was already in your truck. So that's right. he gets out the car. He's on his phone. And he's talking loud. 
that Boston attitude, talks loud, and goes, Tank, what up, brother? And gives me a hug. I was like, yeah, he's definitely an extrovert. Why? Uh, <laughs> he's def- that too, white and extroverted, loud, obnoxious. And then I don't know how it was it with you when he when you guys first met in person because I wasn't there. I was I think my flight was an hour later than yours when landing. That's right. Okay, because what so what happened was like I I basically we got off the flight, got the got the got the truck, drove into town to get him, and then basically just turned right back out of town back to the airport and then and then picked you up and then got out of there. <laughs> but uh, when we met him, I, I was on the phone talking to him. And then uh, we were like in front of the TD TD center. So he called me and he's like, "Yeah, I'm in front of Dunkin' Donuts." And so I like parked the car on a like a no parking zone. You know, I just hop out real quick, I give him a hug, and then I get in. And that was about it. It was just it was very like, "Hey, what's up?" Like I knew him. I met him 50 times already. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I think maybe that's like code switching. I don't know what it is, but could be. He was maybe he was just excited to see you more than he was me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what can I say? I'm very lovable. Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Some people just naturally they're gonna they're gonna put themselves out there. I don't know. I've always found I'm a Virgo Leo cuss. We've talked about that. So I think that I've always been like that balance of yeah. you know like I I know when to turn it on and be the life of the party, so to speak. And I know, like, I feel like when I'm around other introverts, it's like, you know, I take it more one-on-one and quieter and more subdued. But when it's like, when you're with extroverts, you got to, like, match them. You know what I mean? And on an introvert like me, that's tiring. No, it's it's fine. It's it's normal. It's like a nice, normal conversation, which no, I, is... No, I hear ideal. you. But, like, on an introvert like myself, oh, it's, it's you're, tiring. You're thinking- yeah, it's yeah, like, you do it now I gotta match this person's volume and his energy, and oh my god, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just gonna do an Irish goodbye. <laughs> and dude, trust learned, me, there's many times I've done was. that shit. I learned what that was the other day. The other day? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe you told me about it. Maybe it was on the cast where I learned about it, but that that's funny. Yeah, when well, you walk out the party I, without it, saying like, goodbye. How do, you, how do you leave a party without saying goodbye? Like, people... Like, if you it, open the door, people are like, whoa, like... It depends on what type of party you're at. If you're a party happening. with, like, if you're a party with friends that have their friends and their friends, you know, right. there's a mixture of you might hit somebody on your way out or you might not, depending on who the fuck you're walking out with or you're walking out on your own. And there's many times where I just walked out the party by myself. Um, last time I pulled that move... It was, and it was funny, because I thought I wasn't a hit. I wasn't a walk in front of nobody. I was drunk as hell. I was at, a, it was my sister-in-law's birthday. Mm-hmm. Once uh, we pre-game hardcore at the house. It, it just turned into now, it went from pre-gaming to now, let's get fucked up here. And then two, three hours later, we go to the club. I'm at the club. Sure. I'm already drunk. Sure. It's not even my fucking birthday, but I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting down, chilling. I think some other people, some other friends I haven't seen, like um, a lot of my brother's friends that I grew up with, um, haven't seen them for years. So I say what's up to them. I offer a couple people some drinks. We're drinking. And then I tell my brother, I literally told him right before we got into the club, I'm like, hey, if I disappear, and it was in front of my sister-in-law as well, it was both of them. I'm like, if I disappear and you guys don't know where the hell I'm at, I went home. My Mm -hmm. brother's like, okay. And I told him, like, I do that. Sure enough, I went to the bathroom, and I'm using the bathroom, and I feel that, I was like, that's my call to go home. So I tried to vomit. That didn't work out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get going. So I go outside. I hail a taxi, and as soon as I get in that bitch, one of my brother's friends spots me. Yo, 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 where you going? I'm like, I'm going home. I'm not feeling it. I'm I'm already gone. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Get home. I'm like, hey, if you see my brother, tell him I left. He goes, I got you. I got you. Hey man, you got a cigarette I could bum off you though? <laughs> I gave him like three cigarettes. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm like, all right, here. Boom. Leave me alone. <laughs> so he closes the door. He closes the door for me. Like, motherfucker, I could close the door my damn self. I may be drunk, but I'm not, you know. So he closes the door and then he looks at the driver, bro, with straight <laughs> with a straight face. He looks at him and goes, make sure he gets home. 
And then the driver, the taxi driver drives off and goes, Haha, your friend's funny. I'm like, <laughs> he's really not my friend. <laughs> I'm like, he's not my friend. That's my brother's friend. And just yeah, drives like, off. Like, but, but what was the taxi driver going to do? Like, why did he need to, why did he need to let you know that that yeah. guy was funny? Because <laughs> it was like, the way he said it. Like, real, like, authority. Like, authoritative and just, um, like, he had a lot of bass in his voice, too, when he said it. <laughs> sure. So sure. I I was thinking something completely different. I was thinking like, oh, I, I was gonna kidnap this kid, but like now that he <laughs> said no, I'm gonna I'm just gonna lay off. You know, he's got people who worry about him. Yeah. He's got, he got people. Who, he's got friends. <laughs> I'm a pretty big guy, and even when I'm drunk, I'll still swing on a motherfucker. But um, yeah. I, once I get to the once I get to my crib, I text my brother, I'm home, and I swear, my brother said like. I called my brother the next day, telling him, late, what time y'all get home? How long were you guys out for? I'm sorry I dipped out. You know, we were just chit-chatting. And then he tells me, like, bro, when you dipped, um, he goes, <clears throat> well, my sister-in-law asked for me. She goes, where's your brother? And my brother's like, I don't know. Like, he went to the bathroom, but I haven't seen him yet. Um, and then he looks, he gets that text message, and it's me saying, I'm home. He, he looks at his phone and goes, he's home. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he said, and my brother said, like he said, he was gonna do that. If he disappeared, he went home. He went home. <laughs> and I've done that many times, bro. The Irish goodbye to you. The Irish goodbye. I've done it many times. See, yeah, I, I was, I was the complete opposite in, in college because I, I always was like, I'm gonna be the last one to leave. Like, I don't, I don't care what happens. I'm just, if I, if I go somewhere, like, I'm there. I, you know, cars parked, snows on the ground. Like, let's make some cookies before we go home. You know, I'm not trying to go home like early or anything like that so i w- i would see like you know all the shit through the through the evening transpire yeah and what was what was funny is like when when all the people who like you know just came there for the party leave you get all the like introverts who are left and they just sort of like everybody finds like one person and it's just like a one-on-one conversation after that yeah and it's like it's a little trippy to watch sometimes because you're just like Whoa! Did I did I like go into the twilight zone? Is this like a, a different kind of party? Is are the there rules that out. I? Is there rules that I don't know? I'm supposed to be like? Do I have to couple up? Like what? What's the deal here? <laughs> do I gotta couple up? <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. Found, I already found my partner. Is the fucking? Is my friend's dog? I'm gonna just chill with him. Yeah, and then there's always the guy with the dog, right? There's the guy who like, uh, he's like always taking pay. Or there's the guy who wants to be the DJ, right? There's that guy. Oh, yeah, always with the damn phone or some shit. Yep. Or yep. might even have a portable speaker for some weird reason. Oh, yeah, always brings a portable speaker, and he's like, oh, guys, don't worry. This thing called Bluetooth. It'll be great. And, yeah, but. I'm going around. See, hey, what song you want to listen to, bro? What? What song you want to listen to? I don't know, dude. Just play a fucking song. I got you. Start playing some whack-ass shit. You're like, you know what? I should have requested a song. This was the wrong song. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, seeing that it's it's definitely a trip. I I think human, to me, human behavior is like that's a that's a subgenre in itself. Well, you're like, the psych- you're the uh, psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Well, wish. you're the psych like, major, so you should know. Yeah, well, I mean, like watching people like in their element, it's it's freaking hilarious, dude. Like how certain people act around other people, and then how certain people ra- act around their friends versus like they're not friends. Oh man, it's. It's hilarious to watch, and so it's so that's super funny. I feel like I'm the same asshole with anybody I'm with, anybody? except work. Interesting. I want to say work is where I co switch, of course, but then outside of work, am I hanging with my same when I'm hanging with my colleagues and I'm outside of work? Oh, I definitely transform. I throw that professionalism out the motherfucking window, <laughs> ball it up I'm- like a newspaper, and just chuck it. I'm glad you said it like that because I don't think there's another way you could have said professionalism <laughs> <laughs> going out the window. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, I want to say I always, even when I started with, when I started dating my girlfriend, I told her from the beginning that because we were online dating, we were chatting, and even when we started to call each other and talk to each other before we set up the first uh, our first date, I told her like the same person you're talking to. I mean, the person you're talking to now is the same person I am yeah. full on out. I'm not putting up a facade. 
I'm not trying to look all, trying to be all, you know, knight in shiny armor. And then next thing you know, I'm a piece of shit. No, I'm the same a-hole. If you don't like me now, you're not going to like me later. later. <laughs> like, because this is me. Yeah. And I think, I, and that's like, in this day and age, I think people appreciate that, you know, because it's like, yeah, it's honestly, I think people, people feel like they have to be like the girlfriend or the boyfriend and then like they have to be the son or the daughter and then they have to be the person at work and then they have to be this person for their friends and just and then they have to have everybody's like online presence you know so it's definitely i think that's rare nowadays for sure yep because what you call it like after after one year of us dating i told her after we made a year i told her i'm like so am i the same person than when you first messaged and she goes yeah you like, you know, they say like after the honeymoon phase, you know, like be it a month, three months, six months, a year. Um, yeah. Like you, the two person starts to come out. And mm-hmm. she goes for you. You already had that person out. Like that's you. Like you never put up a facade. I'm like, yeah, I never did. Like I never wanted. Like that's not me. And plus, it's tiring. I want to show yeah. you. That I'm, I want to show you I'm this person when in reality I'm not. It's it's mentally draining. Right, it's not worth it. It's not. In the long run. No. Especially with the fucking... I think I said it last time, though, that when I had her on the cast a while ago, I told her, like, how we started was... It was a joke. I literally mm-hmm. pulled her in with a joke. I messaged her. Um, and I think I said this last time, like, with... I was talking with D was a tip if you're online dating for all my, my, for all my introverts out there that are listening. If you're doing some online dating... And you find that one particular person, don't say hello. Don't say hi. Don't say, hey, how you doing? Because <laughs> most likely that particular person before. gets the same message over and over and over again. And don't be too fucking crazy with, what's up, sex? You want to suck this dick later? What's going on? <laughs> it's like, yo, yo, that's that a fucking from- foul. <laughs> no, you don't do that. That went from zero to 100 real quick. Trust me. I've seen some shit. Um, our good, you know, our good mutual friend did it as well, and oh my god, the <laughs> messages I saw on her fucking uh, profile, I was like, what the fuck? But you know what? Because of me seeing that, it changed the way I, it changed the way sure. I approached on right. online dating. So I decided, I'm like, you know what? Approach with a joke, and I got into like. I want to say out of ten women I was getting, that I was chatting to, like at a time, like whatever. This guy, Playboy. No, like not, I'm not talking about like uh, no, at the same just, time. I'm like messing. out of ten women that I reached out to, okay. with this with different jokes. I didn't use the same joke because I didn't know who was friends. Um, seven of them I want to say actually responded back okay, because so. I actually had them to giggle, and it, you know it started conversations. Some places. Sometimes it went nowhere. Other times it, it started to, you know, go somewhere and things like that. But the joke I used on my girlfriend was, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? An octopus laugh? That was my joke. That was the, that was a question. Mm-hmm. She responded back, I think about an hour, two hours later. How many? Tentacles. Tentacles, yeah, yeah. Like she said, I don't know if she was, you know, trying to, I don't know if she was just too, uh, if she was just trying to stroke my ego, but she said it was so funny. She was dying laughing. But then again, <laughs> my girlfriend is cheesy and cringy. Sure. sure. The shit she says and does is like, my back hurts from all this cringe, but. Well, what, okay. Let's, let, that's an interesting topic. What? I feel I love that. That's a great joke, by the way. I'll I can tell that joke in a in a bar, and and I I could at least get one laugh, even if it's a pity laugh for sure. You're gonna get a, you can get the guy all the way in the back. Ha! He's funny. <laughs> but what's the difference between, what's the difference between cringy and then Cheesy? just like a dad a dad yeah cheese? Well, what's the difference? Dad jokes are just straight cringy, no matter what. And I fucking love dad jokes. I think I pulled a few of them on you a couple times. I Um, loved every single one of them. (laughs) I want to say 
cheesy is more like a cheesy joke is kind of like it's sweet but you know it's sweet and funny where a cringy joke is more like a it's bittersweet it's it's like that was a good one though but uh, really but what's the bitterness what's the bitterness there like why why is it so negative okay so for example play on words tentacles when i read that joke i instantly just freaking i cringed but i thought it was pretty good so i'm like okay i'm gonna use it and it was just a play on words how many tickles does it take for me to make an octopus laugh 10 tickles is literally 10 uh dash tickles yeah it's a pun yeah yeah it's a pun on words so when you say it to and when you say it, it's like uh really <laughs> or like um what's his name um the muppet um grouch no not grouch or the muppet uh waka waka I forgot his name fuck he always says that shit. Am I missing something? Yeah, you are missing something. You ever watched the Muppets? I love the Muppets. Up? Yeah, I love he the Muppets. He was the one, the jokester. had all the cringy jokes. Right. Is that like... Now we gotta look it up. I'm already going for it. Muppets with cringe jokes. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Where the hell is it? Oh, Fozzie? Fo- oh, yes! That one, Fozzie Bear. <laughs> Fozzie Barely Fridays. <laughs> oh, man. His jokes are freaking horrible. I had a colleague before he uh, before he moved on to another position. Bro, we literally called call him Fozzie Bear because that's all he did. He would say <laughs> nothing. He was not even a, he wasn't a father at this time. He would just shoot out dad jokes, cringy ones, cheesy ones. He literally came up out of nowhere. I'm working. I'm on a phone call, and he he waves at me, so I mute the phone call. As a person still talking to me, I'm like, "What?" He literally stood up and he pulled up two. He pulled up CDs and a bag of nuts. I'm like, I fucking hate you, bro. I go back to my phone call and I'm like trying not to laugh now because I'm like, good, though. that's super smooth. Me. That's like a drive-by joke. Oh, man, it was. He was good at that. <laughs> oh, man. He got me last time because at my job, we have nothing but Dell computers. Mm-hmm. He literally messes me. Um, he literally messages me just saying, fuck, what was it? What, com- what computer can sing? I was like, what? Sing? Yeah, what computer can sing? Okay. I, was, I was like, what? He literally pops out of his desk with a Dell laptop saying, Adele. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if you don't get the fuck out of this room, I swear to God, like, bro, he will have us all, he will have all of us cringing. And we will be frustrated <laughs> at times. <laughs> <laughs> and remember the, you know, that stupid CSI? That a lot of people make fun of. The guy with the old fuck with the glasses. Yeah. Like, somebody got killed and was drowning. And he put on the glasses. Well, you could say, he was sleeping with the fishes. Fucking yeah, they always like, make some, like, funny pun. Oh, my God. Like, Or uh, they found the teacher in an alley. And, and he goes, like, I guess class is out of session today. <laughs> oh... That right there. Uh, like, he would say dumb shit like that, and it would just be cringy. And that's your different type of person who's funny. Because it lives on. Yeah, it does live on. I think it, I think cringe or dad humor, whatever you want to call it, cheesiness is, is funny because, like, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your background is, like, you can appreciate a good joke that's funny yeah. like that. And because the premise is not rooted in anything, like, super crass or, like, you don't have to have some articulate perspective. It's just, like, it's funny words string, strung together. I got him last time with one. Uh, let me look it up. 
I'm gonna look up a dad joke that I got him. Um, I think it was from this website too, but I got him back and he fucking liked it. It was hilarious. Oh shit! This is it. What's Winnie Houston's favorite type of coordination? Coordination. Yeah. Um, and I. <laughs> that's good. I got him back one time. And he was like, "That's a good one. I'm gonna use that one." I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck." My favorite one of all time is uh. <laughs> now you're just reading. Them. No, I'm not even reading them. My guy got a got a. <laughs> So he was telling me a story. This is why people are funny. He's telling mm-hmm. me a story. He was invited out to his friend's uh um what's that uh before you get married at dinner that uh dinner rehearsal dinner re- rehearsal dinner. So he was invited, so they went out there for the rehearsal dinner, they're trying to meal, they're eating, they're talking, and um the what's you call it? The fiance said that her son just got accepted into a a, a fraternity, mm-hmm. and he goes, "Oh, cool!" He's like, and so he tells her, "What fraternity?" She says, "She said whatever Greek letters," and he goes, "Man, I was in a fraternity too." She goes, oh, "Yeah, which one?" He was, "I ate a pie." <laughs> Flew over her head. Flew straight oh, over. No. Her head. And his That's boy, bad. who was the groom, just like. Oh God, Tony, don't. <laughs> <laughs> he let that shit simmer. By the end of the day, because she's like, oh, I'm going to tell my son about that. I never heard of I ate a pie. Because <laughs> oh when she said it herself, he was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> Later that evening, she finally got it because, you know, her fiance just, um, you know, elbows her and tells her it's a joke. I ate a pie. You get it? She was like, oh, that's not funny. (laughs) Dude, when he said I ate a pie, I'm like, that is by far the best fucking thing I ever heard. Oh, man. And that's a dad joke. (laughs) I got got two for you. One I used to use all the time because it was hilarious. And one I, I think I just think it's my favorite. Um, so when people people in school used to we you know you asked that you we had like reading time after lunch or whatever. Yeah. And people would I had all these like uh, had all these I was in charge of like the book section and the book you know that we had bookmarks. Yeah. And so people would be like, Hey, can I have a bookmark? And I'll be like, Yeah, sure and I grab a book and give it to them. <laughs> And then they're like, "No, can I have a bookmark?" And I'm like, "Why are you yelling? Like, there's no need to get upset." There's no need to get upset. And yes, my name is Mark. And then they said, "Like, no, can I have a bookmark, Mark?" And I'm like, "Why are you like repeating my name now? It's so unnecessary." <laughs> I got in so much trouble. <laughs> can I have a bookmark? But I, I did like book. five different times. <laughs> the teacher just like, I didn't do anything wrong, so she just like laughed naturally. <laughs> Um, and then the other one is, uh, have you heard about the, uh, the new restaurant on the moon? No. Yeah, I, I hear the food's pretty good, but, uh, the place really just doesn't have any atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about the two antennas getting married? No. I heard the wedding was horrible, but the reception was amazing. <laughs> Uh, did you, did you hear that uh, that actress died? No. Uh, Reese, what's her name? Witherspoon. No, no, no. It wasn't with a spoon. It was with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I thought you got me right there. You fucking had me. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck. A man. You from a jo- dad jokes to an actress die. <laughs> what was her name? Reese Witherspoon? No, with a knife. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 
A man walks into a bar with a slab of asphalt. He yells at the bartender, <laughs> one beer, please, and one for the road. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a play on the word ass. <laughs> Listen, we, I could probably mix that one around. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you think your boys will listen to this podcast and be like, oh, my fucking God, I'm going to the next one? I hope so. Until he hears this part, and he's like, fuck, he know, they know. They <laughs> I got to listen to it. I got to listen to it <laughs> until the end. I... You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what makes people funny, you could say. Everybody has their own little kink when it comes to jokes, comedy, and just ha ha he he. A laughter is considered one of the best medicines out there. I don't think you'll kill cancer, but okay, it helps. Yeah, it's pretty. It does. It does get pretty close. Do, so, the Secret Service isn't allowed to yell "Get down" when the president is about to be attacked. Did you know that? No. They have to yell "Donald Duck." <laughs> That's the cold word, Donald. <laughs> oh. oh, man. These are funny. Are you reading this shit? I thought you came up with half of them. Uh, I know the book one, but I found a couple of them, yeah. Oh, See, that, that's good. That means I was confident. I thought I was just coming off the top of my head. What's the least spoken language in the world? This is a little messed up. What? Sign language. <laughs> what did the Buddhist say to the hot dog vendor? I don't know. Make me one with everything. It's <laughs> a good one. That's a good one. Oh, this one hurt. When does a, right. when does a joke become a dad joke? When? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Oh. It's got like a couple meanings in there. Yeah, that one hurt. That's like an English major fan joke. Did you know the shovel was a groundbreaking invention? <laughs> I did. I didn't know that. Uh, a slice of pie is uh, two fifty in Jamaica and three dollars in the Bahamas. Those are the pirates in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, wow. Uh, oh god, I hate cringy jokes. Why why did we have to start this cast with people being funny? Why did we just start all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a full, literally, 45 <laughs> minutes of straight cringe jokes. Prepare your ears and your ball sacks, because this is going to be <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, we could have started that way. <laughs> I know, right? Hold on. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, we're moving on. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a real popular cemetery. People are dying to get in there. <laughs> I remember that one. Oh man. If attacked by a mob of clowns, go for the juggler. <laughs> oh my god. If asked, how do you how do you take your coffee? I reply very I reply seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> Oh, there was one that was a, that was one that was a good one, which was, um, how do you like your cup of coffee? And <laughs> no, not how you like your cup of coffee. It was uh, I like my women how I like my coffee without a dick in it. <laughs> uh, how do I look with your eyes, you dumb bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I might get a, I might get a I might get a couple black eyes, but uh, I'm definitely gonna lose that one. Oh. <laughs> what was one? Uh, 
I forgot. I think my mother. I got this off a of vine. But my mom's like, man, I need to get in a shape. I'm like, Brown's a shape. And she fucking teared me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get in a shape. I'm like, mom, Brown is a shape. <laughs> oh, I almost got my ass kicked. If you see a robbery in a, at an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> If you're a security guard at a Samsung store, does that make you a guardian of the galaxy? <laughs> That's a good one. It's well thought out. Mm-hmm. You know what I always hated? The I'm whatever and it's like, hi, whatever. I'm so-and-so. I always hated that shit. Yeah. I'm tired. Hi, tired. I'm dead. Uh, did you know did you know I was named after Thomas Jefferson wait what yeah wait say it again I was named after Thomas Jefferson you were were, no you weren't yeah I was named after Thomas Jefferson (laughs) I don't know how to reply back to that one (laughs) <laughs> I was named after Thomas Jefferson. No, you weren't. <laughs> well, you okay. What's the fucking joke there? You're okay. So you say I was named after Thomas. I say I was named after Thomas Jefferson. You say no, your name's Mark. I said yeah, I know. I was named after Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. Why are graveyards so noisy? I don't know. Because all of the coffins. (laughs) That's good. Why didn't the invisible man take the job? They couldn't see him? They couldn't see himself doing it. Now you're getting it. You're you're getting... (laughs) See, some of these are like half logic, half funny. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Is it like a zippo lighter? Yeah. I don't know. One is really heavy, and the other one is a little lighter. That's <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's the best part about living in Switzerland? Swiss cheese? I have no idea, but the flag is a big plus. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's a good one. (laughs) What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> Why couldn't the bike stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. This is this is a this is a twist on it. Oh God! Why? Because he needed the comedian to do the act for him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, and I did it. Oh, that makes me the comedian. You did it. I keep trying to lose weight, but it keeps finding me. Fucking story of my life. I have a dad bod. I'm going to start calling it a father figure. (laughs) Oh, man, that sounds like me right now. Oh my god, you 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 have such a dad bod. I call it a father figure. Exactly. Oh, you love this one. Without mm-hmm. geometry, life is pointless. That's a good one. I like that. There, yeah, there, now you're getting into whole subsets. There's like math dad jokes, English dad jokes. Just watched a documentary about beavers. 
It was the best damn program I ever seen. Why do teenagers travel in groups of three or five? Because they can't even. Good job, good job. Why should you never talk to Pi? Because it never ends. The show go on and on and on and on. <laughs> We were getting fast food when the lady at the window said, any condiments? My dad responded, compliments? You look very nice today. <laughs> that sounds like you, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. That reminded me. I don't know if I said this last this last week, but um, last week was my friend's uh, bachelor party. So we ended the night going to McDonald's. We're all drunk as shit in the car. Mm-hmm. And as we're ordering... Um, Mr. Bachelor orders himself a Big Mac, a large Big Mac meal with a Coke. As Big soon as shocker. yeah, I, as soon as he yells Coke, I'm, I yell out to the I'm because my window's down too. Because I'm it was three orders. I yell extra Colombian. He's like looks at me like, the fuck you mean extra Colombian? I look at him like you don't get it, Coke Colombian. <laughs> he goes you're an idiot. And then I swear <laughs> to God, best fucking. McDonald's uh, worker ever. She responds with, "How many Colombians?" I was like, <laughs> "I fucking love her." <laughs> and my guy oh, goes, "My guy goes, no, he was just joking." Tank, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. What's what's Fifty Cent's name in Zimbabwe? Uh, 50, 50 trillion dollars. Four hundred million dollars. <laughs> I was close. Gross. Gross. Fifty trillion dollars. Damn, bro. What did a baby corn say to mama corn? Hmm. Where's popcorn? <laughs> What do you call a sheep with no legs? I don't know. A cloud. A cloud. When a woman get, is giving birth, she is literally kidding. <laughs> Oi. You know what we should you know what we should have we should do? Mm. It should be like a a joke standoff. Of like cringe oh, like roast, yeah, like oh, okay, like between a, two a people. dad joke roast, yeah, like for example, you know, I seen a couple of your posts on Facebook on how both you and your mama have been, you know, competing against each other in that uh, in that competition out there. Yes, um, yes, I would love like I already know your jokes, but I would love to hear like what your mama has to say. Um, <laughs> if she would be down. To be on an episode and it's just y'all two just joking. I swear, I'll be the referee. I'll just be in the lap back laughing my ass off. Back seat. <laughs> I'll just be the backseat person. Just like, I'll do the intro like always and be like, ready, fight. Yeah. And just let uh, y'all go at it. I can ask her. I can see what she can she can come up with. It might take her a second. She's really, uh, she's really meticulous about her jokes. She yeah. doesn't... Uh, she doesn't bring them to the public eye until until they're perfect. <laughs> until they're ready. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, if okay. So ladies and gentlemen, the plan. The plan. The plan is I, m- I might visit Mark coming up, so don't tell him. It's a secret. Um No, he's never gonna know. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, what's up, Mark? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, the plan is me and Mark are planning on trying to see each other in the coming weeks. I'll be out there in L.A. If you spot a fat guy with glasses, that could possibly be me. Say hi. So just say hi to that person. And if it's not me, you know, just make their day. Say hi to them. But if they're sweating or offering free candy, run away. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. But, um, yeah, and, you know. I would like to like do an interview with you know you and your mom. 
that'd be awesome. Okay. Like, yeah, you know, for, for ask the sure. questions like, so how was Mark when he was a kid? Did he always have his yeah, hands in his but... pants growing up? I did. That's funny. <laughs> you seem like a guy stuff. growing up always just having a grip on something. That was me. <laughs> that was my brother. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. You just, like, no BS, Mark, but you kind of remind me of a much more nerdier person, like a much more nerdier version of my brother. And my brother grew up as a nerd like me. That's fine. I've always wanted to be Puerto Rican. Yeah, who doesn't? Loud and obnoxious? <laughs> Let's do it. That's like one step off from Italian. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, like, more Italians and Puerto Ricans didn't get together when they all moved to New York. I'm surprised that's not a thing. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure, you know, they hated each other. But in, the, but in secret, a few of them were like, I fucking love Yeah, them. you know, they're like Romeo and Juliet kind of love. Like, the families hate each other. Yep. One's got pasta, one's got tacos, but they're both really good. So the families kind of get over it to have the wedding as a buffet. Okay, first of all, Puerto Ricans don't make tacos. I'm sorry, that was the only, uh, that may have been a little racist. That was the only uh, <laughs> Latin food I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, how about empanadas? Those are, are those Puerto Rican exclusively? No, they're not exclusively Puerto Rican, but a lot of Spanish culture makes them. What's funny is, the reason why Puerto Ricans call them empanadas is because they're known globally as empanadas. But on Puerto Rico, they're not called mm-hmm. empanadas. They're called patalios. What about the the fried plantains? Those are definitely uh, totones. Yeah, served with a uh, served with garlic, um, and then you have the fried plantain, like grinded up fl- uh, plantain stuff with meat. That is mm-hmm. considered. That is a. Uh, we had this conversation before, but that is a uh, acapurias. That's when you got it. When you come back to Chicago. This time officially didn't take you to a Puerto Rican joint so you can eat. Okay, okay. And one thing a lot of people that I always get, in, whenever time I tell somebody, when somebody looks at me and automatically assume that I'm Mexican, I tell them I'm not Mexican, bro, I'm Puerto Rican. They're like, oh, let me guess, your family make that bomb ass rice? <laughs> I'm like, always known for the rice. <laughs> no bullshit. Like, every person I met with that was. Of course, non-Hispanic will always sure. say Puerto Rican rice was like the best rice they ever had. Arroz con gandules. Arroz con gandules. Damn, look at you. High five. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, we find a Puerto Rican joint out in L.A. We'll go there and I'll help you out. And they have a... What's this other one? A pollo guisado. Pollo guisado. Yes, that is, that? that is basically like a chicken stew. Chicken stew? Okay. Uh, Cani is beef stew. Chuleta guisa is uh, pork chop stew. Right. It's, it's, they're all cooked similar. It's mainly, right. just like mainly potatoes. My mom just makes it with just the meat and the potatoes, but other uh, other parts of the island, they put uh, potatoes, a carrots. A um, lot of fruit, a lot of rice, a lot of cooking our beef for long hours. That's, yep. that's what I'm getting. Yep. Let me see. Can't even spell Puerto Rican right. God damn it. Top 10 things a Puerto Rican says. <laughs> <laughs> Can't spell Puerto Rican right. Holy shit. There is one in North Hollywood. Mofongos. Oh my God. Mofongos. Oh, I love the name. Mofongo is a. Uh... Oh, dude, you'll love Mofongo. It's. Uh, I think it's. Is either fried or baked mashed up plantain with like mm-hmm. a lot of garlic. Mofongo doesn't sound like it's appealing. It's not like mm-hmm. it's nasty, but it's not. It's basically the plantain like mashed up. <clears throat> and then on top is like the garlic sauce. And okay. it is. Okay. Uh, dude, it has fucking four, uh, 4.3 stars. Where are you located at? 57, 57. Lakershin Boulevard, North Cal- North Lakers Hockey. Boulevard. Yep. Yep. Dude, was I like right there? Was I literally uh, by a Puerto Rican Re- restaurant in North Hollywood when I stood over there? Probably less than ten minutes away. Yeah. Oh, why did I not look it up? Coffee for breakfast, cozy Latin coffee shop. Are you serious? 
Yeah, dude. LA has every type of food. There's a text message. El Tijano. I've been to El Tijano. El Tijano's really good. Their margaritas are about as big as your face. <laughs> and you can only drink half of it because by the time you hit that point, you're already done. You're already chugging water. Dude, like yep. last, not to punch you, not you know, not to like, you know, make funny or anything, but like last time, um, funny, okay. the happy hour, <clears throat> the happy hour when we were drinking the the margarita, I think you literally only had like two cups, and you told me finish the rest. I'm like, all right, I started chunking a bit. Which one? Which one was it? Where um, were we? remember when I needed a belt? When we got off from the Union Station, went to that little area, we got tacos. The the were kind of, uh, Union Station. Yeah, when we got off of that, you, we were going to the Dodgers game. Or it was right before oh, the Dodgers yeah, game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I needed a. Uh, I actually those are, I I went I went back there a few years ago. They, their margaritas like aren't what they used to be. Yeah. I haven't enjoyed them. Cause I remember we were there. You were already feeling it, and I wasn't even feeling anything yet. Yeah. And, uh, you told me you told me like, bro, just have the rest. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go. But I'll never forget when you told me, bro. How many beers does it take to get you drunk? Because me and you had the same amount of beers. I want to say maybe I had a bit more, but I wasn't feeling as uh, lit as you were. Mm-hmm. And I was like, to be truthful, it'll take a baby like a 12-pack alone just to get me drunk. Now, you want to get me fucked up, throw in a bottle of 1,800 in there. A fifth of, uh, not a fifth, <laughs> throw a pint of 1,800 in there, and you definitely got me puking. And I thought you were going to say uh, 30 rack. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Does mama drink? Uh, it depends on the day. Not as often anymore. Okay. So if I show up in LA and bring her a, a bottle of her favorite drink. I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> You're like, hi. We're drinking tonight? She's gonna be like, this guy. Mark did say he was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Get lit in your backyard. <laughs> just start <laughs> drinking. And just chill right there. Like, uh Dude, what's that rocking feeling? I don't know. I think we're having an earthquake. Alright, I'm not <laughs> feeling good. The vibrations is making me vomit. <laughs> Wake up the next morning. Dude, did we just have an earthquake yesterday? Yeah, there's going to be another one tonight. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be another one tonight. So, uh, wear your diaper. Don't piss yourself. I think I told you my story. I stepped through an earthquake over here. You stepped through an earthquake? Slept. I don't think that's how it works. Slap. Oh, okay. Um, so, I think Chicago had... You could look it up. It was... um Recently? No, it was a few years ago. So, it was rumored that, like... Yeah, I'm like that shit up. South border, like Kentucky, Indiana, and uh, Illinois, right there, that um, it's an ancient fault line. So there was like, a, what was it, like a three or four? An ancient fault line? Yeah, it's like an ancient fault line. There are no fault lines around Chicago. They believe it's an ancient fault line. Interesting. Was it? Yeah, it was 2008. Yep, I remember this. Magnitude okay. 5.2. Yep. Um, okay. In the 2018 Illinois earthquake was one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded by the Midwest of Illinois. The moderate strike slip shock measured 5.2 on the moment magnitude scale and had a maximum... Okay, whatever. Either way, it was a 5.2. And okay. I remember that night I woke up. And I was like, why the fuck am I up? And I went back to sleep. Mm-hmm. To find out the next morning, everybody was tripping balls, thinking it was the end of the world because everything was falling off. They're screaming. Their bed was rocking. I'm over here like, I literally just woke up. I guess I woke up after that because I forgot the time that it happened. I forgot the time yet. Hold on. Is this right here? 
Uh, it doesn't show time. It just only shows dates. But I woke up. I did, oh, right here. 4, 436 local time. And I remember waking up that early. when I Because when I woke up, my window was open. It was still dark outside. And I was like, mm -hmm. why the hell am I still up? And I remember I had an alarm clock. And it was around that time. Mm -hmm. So I remember waking up that early in the damn morning. Um, what you call it? And the next day, everybody was talking about it at school. Sure. So they stated that there's a possibility of an ancient font line along the uh, along those borders right there. Interesting. Mm hmm I don't know if I buy it, but I'll, I'll <laughs> buy it for now. It was recorded, bro. It's an, it, an earthquake. No, no, no. I yeah. I believe you. I'm at, I'm talking about the fault line. But. Yeah. They were saying sure, it's your sure. phone line, but then again, it could be, you know, something happened. The government did something. Right. Then they, then they blew up an underground nuke. Maybe. Possibly. Never you never know. Never know. Well, I feel like this is a good spot to end. Yes. I got to jump on the game and play some Destiny with uh, some pals of mine. Of course. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. And, you know, you got to get back to playing Uncharted 3. I know, dude. It's so good. Side <laughs> note: If anybody wants to travel down memory lane, just plug in your PS3 and like play all the games that you own because like that's a great start. Dude, I wish I never uh, traded in my Resistance Follow Man game. Oh wow, you're throwing it back to the until launch. That's oh seven. That's yeah. launch, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I was mad when they fucked it up with part two. Part two was all fucked up, and then I never played part three. But yeah. I see. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Incompetent Nerds. If you want I don't to know if we in... answered any dad joke. I mean, if we answered why people are funny, but I've had a good time telling you everybody dad jokes. It's because we are the people that are funny. Oh wow, that's some that's some meta, that's some full circle <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Yes, it is. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in contact with us, leave us comments, emails. You can find all avenues of reach us down below. Even follow us on all types of programs, be it iTunes, Google Play Podcasts, um, YouTube. It's all down there. And, you know, send us a shout out. Say, say what's up. And, you know, we'll give you a shout on the cast and keep moving forward. And this has been. Go from there. Yeah. And this has been an episode of Incompetent Nerds. Catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye.